Have you ever stepped outside and the smog was so thick you couldn't see the CN Tower? Even a clear view doesn't mean clean air. We wanted to do something about it. Hi, I'm Kent Coburn. I'm a father of two. I live in the outer reaches of Mimico in South Etobicoke. Hi, my name is Tanya. I'm 39 years old. I'm a resident of Long Branch. I have two children, a baby and a two and a half year old. An opportunity came up at our local public library. I got to meet a number of people, including a representative from T who talked about the air quality monitoring project that they have coming up in South Etobicoke. And I thought, what a great way to not only get myself involved in my community, but to give back and, and see what I can do. So we found Long Branch. I was pregnant at the time. I didn't even consider pollution because you know, I, I, I'm educated and whatnot, but it wasn't something that I thought, oh, you know, what's the air quality like in Long Branch? The canvasser came to the door, and she first informed me of your campaign, and then asked if I wanted to participate. My daughter was struggling with breathing issues, and I never had that with my oldest one. So I started just connecting the dots, and I realized that, oh goodness, this could potentially the air be affecting her breathing issues. It's kind of cool to watch the numbers on the monitor go up and down as you're walking in different areas within your neighborhood. And all you have to do is attach the monitor to your bike or to a backpack. And really all you're doing is just doing something you do on a regular basis, which is go outdoors and enjoy your neighborhood. Until you see it in people you love, you really don't understand the, the impact on, on how pollution or how we live, how it affects just the simple things such as my baby's breathing. So I'm passionate because I, I, I've seen how, how it affects my family. We have great tree canopy. We have wonderful river systems full of wildlife paths that people can enjoy. But we also need a city of neighborhoods where you can walk around, but also be breathing decent air and not being afraid to go out. We found a solution to make air pollution visible in a whole new way. Local volunteers record the air quality in their neighborhoods and we put it on maps. Maps that anyone and everyone has access to, that you can pull up wherever you are. The response from volunteers has been amazing, but with only five air monitors in circulation, we can't keep up with demand. So what's next? Now that T has mapped air quality in South Etobicoke, we're moving our air monitors to Toronto's downtown core, another area plagued with pollution. We want to double our fleet of air monitoring equipment so we can reach twice as many neighbourhoods in 2016. We can do this for as little as $5,000. Knowledge is power. As our citizen science volunteers collect more and more data throughout Toronto, our map grows, and so does our awareness about which areas of our city are most polluted. By making the impacts of air pollution visible, we can use this data as a powerful tool for change. Join us. Let's work together to clean Toronto's air and create healthier communities for all.